on my YouTube's live. Hello. Hiya, YouTube. Hello, Hello, friends on YouTube. I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook. It is our 20th year. Woo! Woohoo! Yay! Hey, Facebook friends. Well, there weren't three of the packages. Um, well, that's yeah, toilet Facebook paper, friends. not oh. paper towels. Oh, okay. It would make some awkward paper um, towels. <laughs> I think they're on the shelves in the corner. Um, this is our 20th year, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of copies sold, so somebody likes it. Yes. So glad about that. You can only get it here at livingonadime.com. We are the best deal, unless you find it somewhere like a thrift store, maybe. Some people have. Um, and that's great. But don't go, go on it. eBay unless you want to pay three times as much as If you want to charge. go on eBay or Amazon, you will pay three times as much because people think it's such a great people book. People love it, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, um, quick announcement before we get started, we're making dinner for one dollar per serving tonight, so my physical therapist today said, oh, have you yeah. seen those boxed meals that you get? I'm like, oh, no. Boxed meals? Yeah, I was like, that. yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get, I just can't bring myself to order it. <laughs> so, I know, can't bring myself to pay $50 for one meal, which is absolutely absurd. Uh, okay, so, all of our ebooks, including Dining on a Dime Cookbook ebook, all of the ebooks are on sale, 50% off all of them. How what? many are on sale? All of them. All of them. One hundred percent. Which is actually some... I was like, fifty percent. Are you sure you yeah. want to do that? She's like, yes. Somewhere around, I think I have somewhere around fifty eBooks now. Some are on Amazon and not on our store, but all of the ones on our store are fifty percent off. Oh, Lindsay says thanks to y'all. I'm getting braver in the kitchen and cooking more from scratch. You Thank go, you, Lindsay. Lindsay. Cassidy, my friend, how are you, girlfriend? <laughs> I would love to see you again. I may just have to drive down to Texas and see Cassidy. Oh, she she's was in so Texas. nice. She's the oh. one that came up for remember she was here for a meetup? Yeah, but I didn't realize I forgot they were in Texas. Um so <gasps> Ooh, Allie Oakley says I just won your cookbook on Bandana Grandma's channel. Hip hip yay! hooray. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, I was gonna promote that and I had a problem and I could not get it promoted. I'm so sorry. She's not on there yet, but I'll tell her when she gets on there. So 50% off. Mike's putting the links in there, correct? I did put the link in there. I'll go put it in okay. again. 50% off all our ebooks. Ebooks. So, if you have an ebook, or I mean, if you have a computer or a phone, you can read our books on there. Great way to save money by using our ebooks because a lot of people love ebooks. Now, today. We are making dinner for one dollar, yes one, per serving. I think it's actually closer to 75 cents maybe. It's a popular meal around here. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are like, what are, you, what are you making? As a matter of fact, I'm kind of like, okay, do I even get going? Because once this stuff gets out of the fryer, it gets eaten in like three seconds. I think we need to have a... Like the entire thing that you make. Yep. Um, once it gets out of the pan, that. it's eaten in about Website. 10 minutes. Yes. Which one? For the, um, recipe. Um, oh, right, right, right. Okay, so Mike's going to give you oh, this recipe yeah. link after he shows me it. I can't remember if I put the egg on first or the cornstarch. But and I'm the let's check I'm out our recipe and see. Them in like 10 minutes. You're not the person who eats them yeah, in 10 totally minutes. Uh huh. Yeah. I whatever. There like you go. Five okay. Seconds, um. Honest. The corn. Okay. Yeah. Cornstarch and the eggs. Okay. Um. And I will share the recipe now for the sweet and sour chicken. It is amazing. This is my sister-in-law Shayla's recipe. <gasps> is that it, where we got it yep. from? Yep. This is my sister-in-law Shayla's recipe, who is going to England with us for two weeks, hopefully, if my brother will behave and start feeling better. Um, here's a little tip right here. Take this 
what do you call this? Uh, Non-slip shelf liner is what that's called, okay? Put it under your cutting board or your mixing board and look, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, <clears throat> I don't, um, I'm using gloves because I just put on my fingernails so I don't want to get them all wet washing my hands. Wow, are we extra blessed? We've got people from, from all over, but we've got uh, Tita in Chile. Whoa! And Aiko in Japan is, again, is on again, so... We're world-renowned? <laughs> yeah, and Tita says, those box meals are incredibly expensive here in Chile, not worth it at all. They're it's incredibly ridiculous. expensive here, too. Oh, it is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I already pre-cut these because I happened to be... Um, I had... Let's see... What did I have? How many pounds? I had something like, oh man, like 15 pounds of chicken or something. I already had the cutting board and, and the big knife and everything ready. So I went ahead and cut it up into little pieces, okay? Now, I'm turning on my oil here and I'm pouring in, oh, let me show you. This is leftover oil, okay? So when I'm frying something like donuts or sweet and sour chicken or whatever, I save the oil that's still mostly clean, okay? And then I pour it in the pan, and then I don't have to keep getting fresh oil every time I fry something. Then I just store it in the refrigerator. Now, yes, for those of you paying attention, my hands are all chickeny. This, because it's because I don't have a little bit in, I'm gonna wash it now. I wash it every couple of times I empty it. Okay, all right, so I got my oil heating up right there, just regular old canola oil, nothing. I'm losing my mind. Nothing, fa oh, nothing. No, I'm really losing my mind. <laughs> nothing fancy. Don't worry. Uh, so Christine is asking about fried rice. We are. Or we're not making fried rice for this, right? Um, I'm just making regular rice for this one. Okay? Do we have a fried rice recipe? On yes, the site? we have a fried rice recipe. Fried rice recipe on the site and in Dining on a Dime cookbook. Okay? Where is it on the site? I was looking. Oh, well, it should be on there. Hmm. I don't know. She's just drying the ch chicken. So yeah, so I'm drying the chicken right <laughs> here. Okay. Now, while my oil is heating up, I'm gonna get my water going for my rice right here. Okay, and oh dear, where's my measuring cup? All right, here we go. Now, we also have a recipe for rice in Dining on a Dime. Super easy. Um, yes, you can make it in your Instant Pot if you want. I don't care how you make it. I make it on the stove top, but you can do however you would like, okay? So I'm going to wash my hands here real quick because I need to add some other things in there. So then I'm putting my salt, and I keep my rice in this cute little canister right here with, I have a quarter cup measure, I'd rather have a half, but I didn't have it, so I just keep it in here. And then I just count out eight scoops, okay? I think we have the rice recipe on the side, I forgot to tell you. Uh, the regular rice recipe? Yeah. Tell okay. Us now, then you're going to bring this to a boil. Mike likes to put oil in his. I don't, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on your preference, what you want to do, okay? Two Family Homestead is on. Oh, Two Family Sherry. We love you, Sherry. <laughs> okay, so putting the lid on, getting the rice going. Now, this is heating up. The oil smells like something that we... Like so, donuts. Is that, that's what it is? I was wondering. All right, so now I have my egg. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's not our truck there. No. <laughs> it's the neighbor. All right. And I'm going to take my fork, and I'm going to whisk it up, like so. <gasps> Shayla's on. Shayla, this 
is your recipe. She says, oh, and she says, oh, yay, it's so good. And I quote your oldest son, this is actually good, with a surprised look on his face. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there was a time when BJ was uh, doing some school in Kansas for six six months, or how yeah. long, and uh, stayed with... Stayed with my brother and sister-in-law for a little while to do school. Yep. Because he's smart, yeah. particle. <laughs> He went to be a drone operator. He's a licensed, oh, just sort of like, a licensed drone operator. The dog was eating it. Oh, Sarah, good on. Oh, Sarah, hello. We haven't seen you forever. Okay, so you dip it in your cornstarch just like so. She asks how many pounds are you using and how many people are you cooking for today? Okay, I'm cooking for four people, but I will tell you ahead of time. I am making extra because... I want to have some leftover for lunches, okay? So what I've been doing is, um, like I made chicken curry, was testing a recipe the other day for the new book, What's Your Opinion on That, Dear? Which one? The chicken curry. Oh, it was delish. And... I think I liked it better than the, uh, when Ellie and I were on British Airways, the... the Ooh! The steward that was on there did not, um, seem to approve of curry chicken. <laughs> But Better than awesome. British Airways. Ooh, oops, oh dear. I did that wrong. Um, okay. Man, that's saying a lot. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay. Getting going here. I got my Man, little just smells... a tad too warm, so I'm letting it cool down here just a second. It smells a bit awesome already. Oh! Hi, Kathy. Kathy says I'm at VBS, so I'll have to watch you all later. <laughs> that time already. Oh, oh I was. I, I just. I thought that only happens in the summer. <laughs> I was realizing. What? All right. So, I got them in here. <gasps> Cindy says my husband gives this meal a five stars. Ooh. Yay. Okay, now you can bake these. You can bake them in the oven and it will save a ton of calories, but. This show is only an hour, and it takes about an hour and 15 minutes to bake them, so I don't do that, okay? So. <laughs> oh, Jenna says, Mike, who's this skinny mini behind you? For what? That would be you. Oh, me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you can thank my power walks. Woohoo. Um, okay. I'm going to share the recipe again here in the comments, and if you don't find it here, uh, is it in the cookbook? No, this is going in the new cookbook. Okay, uh, but if you don't find it here, it is on our website at livingonadime.com and you can click on show notes and all the links for today's show will, will be there. Yeah. Because um, I just updated it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, all of our ebooks, guys, 50% off right now, livingonadime.com. All of our ebooks. Oh, Jane says that they love this recipe also. I think it's one of the kids' favorite recipes again, isn't it? Yeah. Dave, can you give me two more eggs? Um, now, somebody asked, how much does this make? Here's the thing. I am making like a quadruple batch. So the boys will snarf it all before. Yeah, well, we're going to hide it. But, um, oh. thank you. I wonder if they dropped it. <laughs> okay. That all the way. Now, I patted my chicken dry just so that it wasn't quite so much moisture on it because I had them in the freezer, okay? So Margaret says, watching you guys munching, watching you guys and munching on your no-bake cookies. Oh, those are so good, aren't they? Those are in our Dining on a Dime ebook. If you guys want to get it 50% off, we have our How to Clean and Organize is 50% off. We have... Um, how to save when you're sick, 50% off. We have our How to Save on Grocery e-course, 50% off. We I have, said, are you sure you want to do that since we just did that one? And she said, yep. Let's do all the e-books. So I was like, just make it simple. So. Judy loves the wash. Yes, we like to say it's washing with extra gusto. <laughs> I told Tara, it's more vigorously. Gonna be, nobody's going to even, yeah, more vigorously, that's what it was. I told Tara, nobody in Scotland is going to be able to, uh, is going to notice the wash because 
that what they say over there? Well, no, just because you sound like an American anyway. <laughs> I don't know what they say. I'm sure it's different. There are a lot of different accents there, so. <laughs> yum. Andrea says, I'm having a cup of tea here and fried rice with chicken for breakfast. Oh, yum. Early Tuesday morning here. Hi, Andrea. Yeah, you're in Australia, right? <laughs> So that's what they look like. Get back. <laughs> good, it's really good. It's really, it's really, really, really good. good. Okay, so let me scoot over here and get the rest put in. Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, um, I, I was just thinking something. Now, I'm just going to fry up this batch and I'm going to do my second batch later because I'm also testing a recipe for the new cookbook coming out that is a garlic, <gasps> did you hear the word dear? <gasps> yes. Garlic sauce for chicken. Sounds amazing. I'll eat so, that. That sounds amazing. Sorry, right. I was slightly distracted by comments. Okay. There we go. <laughs> what? Ruth is asking, have you seen the Facebook page English with Lucy? I was wondering if that was an I Love Lucy thing. <laughs> I have no awesome. idea. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for that for this moment. I just use gloves because I don't want to wash my hands right now. All right. Now... Where did my... I'm sharing the sweet and sour chicken recipe again here uh, on our website, Living on a Dime. And it's not in either of the Dining on a Dime cookbooks yet, but there's a new one we're preparing hopefully for Christmas. Is that right? We're trying to get it done for Christmas. And it will be in there as well. Yeah. Okay, now I'm flipping all these over. Now, normally I would make this one pot for the chicken, and what I would do is I would cook up all of my cabbage stir-fry first, and then put in my chicken afterwards. But today, just for the show, I'm doing two pans, just so you can see, and I can keep moving here. <laughs> there we go. So now we're going to get our stir fry going here. So I've got my carrots already grated right there. There's my carrots. I have my onion right here, I'm going to cut up real quick. Okay. Don't forget, guys, all of our ebooks are 50% off right now until next week. Wait, what is this stuff? This is onion. I mean, this stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Patty. Zero calories. Patty said. Every recipe I've made so far from your cookbook, my family has really enjoyed. Thank Yay, you. Yay, that's great. And Willa said, I made your wet cake the other day. So delicious, and I especially love it warm. Also, just got my ebooks and enjoying reading. Aww. I, have, we, have you made the wet cake lately? Not recently. I was trying to remember what it tastes like. I remember seeing it. Okay, so I've got my onions in there and my carrots. I've got my cabbage here. Need to get it used up. It's looking... A little bit worse for the wear there. Just pull off the old, old leaves. Everybody like my apron? So we can get yes. ready for our trip. We're not going to Wales though, are we? Well, we'll be going through Wales on the train, but oh, I think sometime we should go because it's nice there. Or at least it looks nice from the train. Hmm. Okay, then I just trim off the dark edges. Okay. There we go. Trimming up my... <laughs> Cabbage. Can't believe it was one of the boys. 
Can I taste? Sarah yeah, must be it. Sarah Why must not? be seeing that. She says, "Boy, you better back off that chicken." No, that was Dave. Oh, is it David? Yeah, it was for me. Yeah, Dave is ready for food. Why? Why? Why in just a minute? And why not right now? Because I said so. Oh, <laughs> that's a parent's favorite line. Because I, I said, said so. so. It is okay to tell your children because I said so. So your children do not need an explanation of why. Why? You are doing something. You can just say, because I said so. And I did. Okay. <laughs> Luann so. said, I made your Spanish rice and garlic pork chops. Hubby loved them ate the, and he ate the leftovers for breakfast. Ooh, good. Sounds like me. I eat leftovers for breakfast a lot. Mm-hmm. Jean loves the gloves. Yeah. Hi, everyone loved the gloves, Tara. Well, I just put my nails on and I didn't want to have to wash my hands and all that good stuff, so. Okay, now. Okay, let me get this cook in here. Huh? All right, now, I'm going to put a pan clip just to keep it going. Um, let's see, what do we got now? Okay, flip over my chicken. Sandra said, I said that many times when my children were young. <laughs> also, no is a complete sentence. Uh. Sarah said, Tara, I literally just did that to my kids because I told you so. Okay, Mommy. I have a few of these sugar snap peas left. I'm going to throw in there. Let me pick through. Just a couple left. Put those in there. Get all of this cooking. What? No is not a complete sentence. Yes, it is. It Believe doesn't have me, a subject is. or predicate. Take, <laughs> take out... Take out the trash for me, please. Okay. You wonderful, handsome dude, you. Well, yeah, isn't it? Okay, clear out the way. Right. Now, for our garlic sauce, we have the recipe that I'm testing. This is for our newest cookbook coming out. We are putting in brown sugar. Soy sauce. You can get soy sauce that's gluten free. David, can you open that back door, please? Okay. Oh my goodness, this is going to take forever. It's hot in here. Alright, there we go. We're getting the soy sauce. We're almost there. Oh, you want me to have that? Getting close. Yes. Okay, just pop that yeah. little. Okay. Squeeze that little. I should have. Okay, so there's the soy sauce. The vinegar, you can just use white vinegar. I happen to have this rice vinegar. I have no idea why I bought rice vinegar. I bought it for something or another. Jack. Okay, now, turning the rice down there. Okay, then my cornstarch. Susan Jones said, wish I could cook like you, Tara. Oh, you well, thank you. You can. Just get my cookbook and go for it. <laughs> now, like I said, today I'm using more pans and stuff because I'm showing you several recipes. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to. <gasps> Laura's sending you kisses, lot. Jack. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Whoops! What happened? The lid popped off? <laughs> I the forgot lid? I was going to go in and I forgot. Okay. Well, onion powder doesn't change the flavor very much, does it? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, significantly, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's fine. Let's get our garlic here. <laughs> yes, Andrea, no period. <laughs> I don't think no is a complete sentence. It's just a word. Well, I got news for you, dude. Okay, it has no and my ginger. <laughs> So, Mr. Particular Jack said, it has no subject or predicate. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Okay, so now we're going to put this on the stove. 
And we're going to put this, now this is a test recipe, so if Mike doesn't like it, it's okay. He will tell the truth. What is it that you're making? Garlic sauce. Garlic sauce? Oh. Yeah, the only thing that Mike could think of complaining about on garlic sauce is it's not enough garlic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I need to get me a splatter guard for my thing. Okay, so now we're going to turn this on. We're going to whisk, whisk it up here. All right, so Ooh, my is done. <laughs> That's why I was wondering about the window at the door. Okay. Jack, can you come close the door? Please. Should have filled up the sandbag. Actually. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so we're getting our chicken. Woo! Quick reaction by Dave. Let's see this. Oh, should I bring So we need a sandbag so our light doesn't fall. I was like, hey, here's a bag of rice. It's 20 oh. <laughs> Wait, um, that'll work. I guess that'll work. But yeah, I guess. Hopefully, oh, we'll see. You never. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Um, yeah. Now, here we go. Let me stir my cabbage here. I turned the wrong burner down. I thought I turned the rice down, but I turned the cabbage down, so it stopped cooking here. So let me get it going here. Okay. Jen, so. Jen said just starting to think about dinner. This is perfect stream time. Yeah. I'll share the recipe again here in the comments. Okay, garlic sauce. Oh, I forgot my water. I need to put my water in. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Debbie. Hello, Jill. Miss seeing you on the show. I'm seeing you're single too, so enjoy your wisdom. Will you be coming back? We actually recorded quite a few mm -hmm. things with Jill, so. We did a couple of things with mom and her prepping with mom and her prepping stuff, but it's probably going to be a few weeks before it gets out. Um, yeah. Um, a lot of people asking, when are we leaving? June 22nd. So three weeks from last Saturday. So two and a half weeks, we are going to be, this time in three weeks, we will be in London. See, that's where, duh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Is that it? Yep. Yeah, I'm good. Well, you are looking good in that, girl. Um, Cindy, I've been watching Coffee with Kate. She's promoting your cookbook. I just love her. She lives close to me. Oh, I forgot I was going to do a collab with her before we left. <gasps> oh, dear. Maybe I could get that done before we go. Let me send you this email so you remember. I need to do that. I totally spaced it. Oops. Yeah, she was Wait, what's that? saying that the Tightwad Gazette and our cookbook were companions to each other. We were all excited. Oh, okay, you don't know how much Tara would have loved that. What? Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Tight Gazette was her most favorite book oh, when yeah. we met. It smells like chicken nuggets almost. Actually, it's the inspiration for Dining on a Diet because in, I think, the third book maybe, uh, Amy says... Everyone keeps asking her to write a cookbook, but she didn't really necessarily like to cook or want to mess with having to deal with testing recipes and all that kind of stuff. And I kid you not, I was just sitting there and I thought, well, I could do that. <laughs> that's how Tara rolls. <laughs> yes, that's how I roll. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it. So I did. And that's how Dining on a Dime was born 20 years ago. So, as a matter of fact, we're trying to decide. Okay, what do you guys think? We have the next book coming out, hopefully in December. But what do you think about a year or two having both the books put together like a big tightwad gazette or something? 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Look at that bird. Bird? Oh, there are two. Uh, oh, all our little birdies in the... I can't... I don't can't think you can around. zoom in. It won't zoom in enough. You think you could get your... Here, you think you could get a picture on my phone? You've got it over there. Okay. <laughs> so, here we go. We're going to give this a test. Now, this is a test... Test recipe, okay? So I'm gonna have Mike Jack. You have to get out of the Okay. Now Yum. we'll have Jack and Dave be taste testers for the chicken, okay? You wanna taste test it by itself? You might need a little enough? salt. I forgot to salt and pepper it. Mm. Okay, you want to be a taste tester? To, oh, you're taking pictures? Okay. He's taking pictures of the birds to see if he can get a shot for the for everybody All right. that's with us to see. Let's see. Oh, he just hid inside of it. Oh, did he? Okay, so here we go. So I wonder what kind of birds those are. Finches. Finches? Mm -hmm. There's oh. one, there's two in there. One is brown and one is this like red. This really it's got good. got a lot of red on it. It tastes really good. Now, for portion size, this is actually about probably six to eight servings. Uh, oh, I don't can think I have you another? can see Okay. Can you have another? Maybe I have But another. I have two boys that really love this, so it'll probably, this will probably end up being. Oh, this for me. Okay, now. So if, this is the garlic sauce? Yeah, but if you don't like it, tell me, because this is a test recipe for the new book. The sauce or the chicken? So it doesn't have salt. It didn't call for salt, though. I always add salt when they don't call for salt. Let's see what we think here. I think I like the sauce, but I'm not sure I like it on this chicken. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. I thought it was, well. Okay. That's a sweet so and sour? Hold on. But that's not sweet and sour, obviously. Okay, hold on. First of all, it needs salt. So guys, this is how we test recipes. We'll make up a recipe, and if it's not quite what we think it is, then we go in and we add, I think it needs more garlic, don't you? Um, here, I need to try it by itself. I think it needs more garlic. Then I kind of go in and add, and then next time I'll write down measurements. Hmm. Okay, the, let's so see. The so, so when I take it alone, the soy sauce is kind of the dominant flavor. This is how we test recipes. <laughs> and you notice how the artist's brush strokes create a circular mode so that oh, your, you. your eye is drawn always to the, the focal point. <laughs> yeah, that tastes more... Okay. I don't know. That tastes like it's not for breaded chicken. Okay, let's see here. here it we tastes go. good, but it tastes like it would be something that would be better with, like... Um, the, a stir fry with all the, uh, like with shredded chicken and, or maybe little bits of chicken and all the veggies with the snow peas and everything like that. That sounds like what, that, to me, that seems like what this okay. is like. Okay, now it tastes good. Sort of That's getting better. It's still soy sauce dominant. Maybe I need to just cut down the soy sauce. Hmm. You're right. It's better, but still dominant on the soy sauce. Oops. Okay, so let's try this now. Jennifer says she'd be a taste tester. <laughs> I'm gonna try ranch with this. Okay, now this, let's try it on rice. Let's see what it is. It's good sauce, but Hey, can you open this for me? I don't know. I'm trying to open it. I'm trying <sighs> to eat it with our hands. Yeah, harness your well, inner I'm, dad. <laughs> the, the bottle is bending. Dave, <laughs> can you hand me the brown sugar up there? Oh. Oops, sorry, up there. I don't know. It's good, but I think it's still a little too heavy on the soy sauce. Okay, now let's try this. Let's hope we get some more rain. guys about this garlic sauce hmm maybe we're just not used to it I could see actually this tasting better like on beef 
Tina what says put a little white sugar in it, and Andrea says sugar or honey would help. Okay, just put more brown sugar in it. Oh wait, can I get a whole bowl full of... Mike's gonna pick the chicken. Okay, so let's try again. You have to cleanse the palate with plain chicken. <laughs> Dude, I'm just eating three. I just need some more. So, different. here's the question. Do you make it more like sweet and sour sauce? I don't know. Is garlic sauce more like sweet and sour sauce? Or is it more like... Um, or is it more like a savory? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Did anybody say if they thought combining the two books next year or the year after would be a good idea? Well, so... I, I saw one comment. Uh, mm. The comments were just shooting off the page, so hold on a minute. Um, well, so I Jen, like it. But... Jen says Tightwad Gazette bundle sounds awesome, but I was wondering if she's thinking like dining in Tightwad Gazette together. <laughs> that would be really cool. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's good. I think that if, we, if you wanted the garlic sauce, we probably ought to rework it and see if we can get it to be better. <gasps> Denise, I'm so excited I won your revised cookbook on Bandana Grandma's Camel today. I won an apron last week but failed to realize it until today, so I think she already drew again. Oh, <laughs> yay! All right. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Jen. I will make a note of that on the London Pass. Now, for Mike and I... We're gonna take the stir fry here, and then we're gonna put some chicken. And there you go. Let me see. Put the sauce over the top. Actually, I like oh, it enough yum. that I'm putting the sauce over the top. I was wondering if you're gonna get the, all the veggies. I know it's kind of cool how you did that with the. Uh, since the kids okay, are so there you deep. go. I'm thinking that's going to be pretty tasty. Well, let me share the recipe again. I, I haven't shared it in a little while. I'm sharing the recipe in the comments. And if you miss any of the links from today, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes. <clears throat> Would you like a bowl? Bowl, bowl, bowl? Yeah. Would you just like dinner? Yeah. Okay, grab me a plate. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, Sarah, we are working oh, okay. on a standalone second book. Yes, hopefully it's going to be done in December. Did this finish washing? We weren't sure it was going to be done in time, but we kind of worked out a, a, a scenario with our, our assistants where hopefully we can get it actually get it done yeah. then, which we're really glad for. No guarantees, but hopefully... They're going to be doing some type test setting and some recipe testing for the recipes that I wasn't able to get tested. Oh my, that's a lot. Uh, so Marie is asking, is there sweet and sour sauce or is it in the batter? There, we, did you make this sauce this time? Oh, or you so use... the sweet and sour sauce is on our website. It's... If you want sweet and sour sauce. Um, I have bottled sweet and sour sauce for this one because I just wanted to finish it up. I was testing the garlic sauce, but this is the chicken. For the sweet and sour. So I just shared the link so. again for where the recipe is, but uh, you can also go to our website, livingonadime.com, and mm -hmm. it's right on the front page right now. Yeah. Uh, the sauce is actually above the chicken in the yeah. recipe. Okay, so here's the boys' dinner, and then we're going to have on the side some peaches to go with it, or fruit cocktail. Yay. Right there. Amanda, for where will you celebrate the 4th of July, or I suppose... You uh, want England. Me to... <laughs> That's kind of ironic. <laughs> Tara will be in uh, near York with the kids, and I will be in London that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know. Jamie said add more salt. Linda, See, this didn't have any salt at all, and I think it needs... Yes, Linda, we're going to eat that with the sweet and sour sauce. Tara just wanted to try the garlic sauce uh, because it's a, a recipe <clears throat> that she's contemplating putting in the new book. So, but I think... I think it seems like it might be a good sauce eventually, but the sweet and sour is definitely better for the chicken at this point. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. Marie, your kids are lucky. I, uh, I think she's saying I can't wait to eat that. <clears throat> Bet the garlic sauce would be better on beef. You know you're right. It probably would be. I think this would be better on beef. 
I'm Although a... it's actually not bad on chicken. Is there any butter anywhere? I think, I think you just had a thing. Well, yeah, but it's frozen. Oh. <laughs> when you're frying your chicken, do you put the oil so it goes halfway up your chicken or so it covers the chicken? I only do it so it goes like just a quarter of the chicken just so that it um, does the bottom and then I flip over. So that's, that's the difference between the stir frying and the regular deep frying, right? Yeah. Deep frying, you put the whole thing so it's drenched. Yeah, so today she was stir frying it, so that's why it wasn't fully submerged in there. Is that different? Does it make a difference then how much oil it absorbs? Oh, it absorb it pro more? no, it probably doesn't. Uh -uh. Mm. Probably doesn't. Okay, so. Marie says combining the two cookbooks can make it really thick, which would be hard to use when cooking. It oh. would be, yeah, but I was thinking people might want to just read it and have like an encyclopedia of frugal cooking. Um, because when you're cooking dinner cheap, some people like to just go through and look at all the recipes and then pick them out. I don't know what to do on that. I feel like I, maybe we could just do a limited edition of 2,500 copies. We could do that. Dude, that would that'd be a lot of work for 2,500 copies. <laughs> well, that's true. Actually, hmm. We can take a train from London to Wales. Actually, it's funny because we're we're doing a sail rail again to get back from Ireland to London, um, and the, the train goes through there. But but uh, time wise, we were still having trouble with being able to stay in Wales. But Ellie and I were thinking sometime we should go and uh, actually stay in Wales for a little bit because when we went through on the train, we talked to a student from the uh, a university there and it, it was looking beautiful out the window and he was telling us it'd be great to visit sometime. Okay, you look up questions while I say what my physical therapist said today. So, although I need you paying attention to this, I guess. Well, hold on. Annie, Dave, are you growing your hair? Annie wants to know. Yeah. Sort of. I didn't realize that. I'm Do we trying much... to procrastinate on mom having me shave, cut my hair because I don't want to go to the hair cutter place. It's annoying. <laughs> oh, Sarah, yes, maybe a combined one for those who don't have the first one and a standalone for those who already have the first. I think that's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. I mean, it would be a year or two down the road, but I don't know. To have like, it would be like Carla Emery's book, The Complete, um, or The Country Encyclopedia of Country Living or the Taiwan Gazette. I could be, I could be with them. We could be the threesome, the three tightwads. <laughs> Jen says uh, taking advantage of the ebook sale, fifty percent off is great. Yes. So our ebook sale is fifty percent off on every ebook in our store. Every ebook in our store is fifty percent off. So it's a great, <coughs> it's a great. Um, Great, what do you say? Deal, great collection. Actually, so, um, Peggy Ann, I've taken a train between London and Cardiff. It was lovely. I also took the train between London and Paris. I was trying to remember, I thought Cardiff was a stop between London and Hollyhead, which is uh, where Ellie and I went before, and we'll be passing through that way again. Julie from Georgia. Oh, oh Julie, how are you? I love the Tightwad Gazette. I read it once a year as a good reminder. Mm-hmm. Okay. How much would the shipping cost for a double Not book? actually, not much. Probably only about six bucks. Cause the more, the heavier it is in media mail, the cheaper it gets. Andrea says London to Paris on the Eurostar is lovely. Our son BJ wanted to come for just a small part of it, and mm -hmm. he talked about doing that. Yeah, Jordan, I saw strawberries on sale. Good! So my strawberry video encouraged you. That's great. Oh, do you want to see? Okay, let me tell you real quick and then you oh, right, right, going right. to do cover. So, I went to physical therapy today. Yeah. And guess what she said that I need to get? Uh-oh. I'm scared. I better not guess. <laughs> A hot tub. What? I, actual ha I actually have doctor orders to get a hot tub. Wow, that would be all right. What? <laughs> How are we gonna actually, I want one like what we had at our other house. Hot tub? Well, it, it was a tub. Oh, that, a tub. No, she said it, no, she said a real tub, a real hot An tub. An actual hot tub hot tub? Yes. Wow. So are we going to get it? She said I'm supposed to sit in it 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. So we need one that's at a place where it can be out on a deck overlooking the mountains somewhere. Yep. 
So it's buying a house. And since we're in so Colorado, then we have to buy a house to go with the hot tub. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mom, I don't quite think here. C says yes. I love my hot tub. <laughs> and I don't know how much does it cost to run a hot tub a year. Oh, type that up. Let's see if it's worth it. Type Google uh, okay, that. Okay, so quick. if we get a hot tub, we're gonna have to hire a hot tub guy to do the hot tub because I. Why? Because it takes a lot of maintenance. Oh, good grief. What? How much does it cost to run a hot tub? I'd love to use it. I just don't want to. I'll listen to you. Have to be balancing the chemicals and all that. Oh, good grief. Um. Oh, they're just talking less about less like, than a dollar a day. Well, that's for electricity, yeah. Well, no, that's not bad. You, there are certain people I remember who were always tinkering and adjusting the levels of everything in it. And I was that's thinking, because that's certain people, and they don't have their act together. Sugar. No. Why not? So, so if you have one, is it that hard to manage? <laughs> Yeah, Amy says, well, now the house is paid off bring on the luxuries. I know. That's what I was thinking. Well, Margaret let's just says, say sewer, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Let's Margaret just say said falling that might through be, the floor. Margaret said that may be covered by insurance since the, since the doctor said you Well, that's it. what I was wondering. Okay, somebody asked something about the... Well, um, Karos is not a lot of maintenance. Yeah, it's not. A, he gets ideas in his head and then... I just think... Uh -oh. I just have to go and do it and then he's like, oh, this isn't as bad as I thought it was. Well, yeah. It's um, just some ideas create additional work. <laughs> let's hmm. see. Oh, so back to the regular. There questions. was somebody who was asking something about ebooks in the questions just now, but over here. Okay, yeah. The other direction, I think. There's no. Oh, there is another direction. Sorry, I thought it was. Already... Um. Okay. Well, you passed it. It's all right. If you guys have questions, put them in all caps so we can Isis, find them quicker. Do you have any of the books? Of what books? We have I Dining on a Dime. Is that what you mean? Jen says taking a book right here. Jen says taking advantage of the ebook sale fifty percent off is great. Thanks, Jen. Here I'll share that link again. Um, so we already answered the question when we're going, right? Yes. And we're trying to frantically get everything done before we go. Get away from the stove. It's hot. Uh, Amy wants to. Amy T wants to know if you do shows while you're on vacation. What time zone will you be in? Do you have any ideas about when you might be thinking of doing them? We have no idea. So that was a difficulty we were thinking of is we, we are still planning to do, we're planning to shoot and edit videos and then do some live when we can. But London is seven hours ahead of here. Uh, and most of the time zone that we'll be in. We'll, and we'll probably have to do, we will probably do live shows if we can, <clears throat> like if we're in front of Big Ben or in front of Buckingham Palace, or at the London Market, or something like that, we'll probably try to do our shows live from places like that, so you guys can actually see them live. Um, but, um... Portable hot tubs? Dave says they have portable hot tubs. I know! Do those portable hot tubs work, or are they... I saw one for like 1200 bucks or something at Costco or Sam or somewhere. I don't know where it was. I mean, I saw an ad for it. But how expensive are hot tubs normally? I have no um, idea. Um, like three, four thousand dollars. Oh. We used to have a jetted tub in our bathroom at our other house. Ironically, the house was bigger and fancier with a lot more land and had a jetted hot tub and all this. And the our regular like low end house here in Colorado is twice as well, more than twice expensive now. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, so let's. So for those of you who are wondering, this meal is less than a dollar per serving for all of us. The cabbage was like twenty nine cents a pound. The chicken was a dollar seventy seven a pound. The rice is like twenty cents. Um, carrots were probably twenty cents. Carrot and onion. So C says we probably spend three dollars a month on chemicals for the hot tub. Hubby is crazy with keeping it in check. Plus we empty every three months. We just love it. She says they have at $2,500 at Sam. Yeah. Carrie, when do you leave for vacation? On the 22nd. So a sat it's Saturday, three weeks from last Saturday. <sighs> Two and a half weeks. This time in three weeks, we're going to be in London. We're going to be so tired. <laughs> we're probably, Although, well, we'll be sleeping at this time in three weeks, so yep. I guess. So, uh... Mar see, Marcia says there are a bit of maintenance levels do have to be adjusted in cleaning, but... Yeah, that person you're speaking of exaggerates everything. Well, that's true. So. Tanya says, absolutely, both books bound together. 
Hmm. See, I thought so. Actually, it seems like most people are saying not that hard. Thank you, guys. Now, how do I find a cheap one? Actually, what I want is a hot tub and a sauna. Two families says we have one, but you have to come here to pick it up. Oh, oh, we could go to Ohio. We love two family. <laughs> um, actually, when I was in Sweden, I was an exchange student, went to go be an exchange student in Sweden. And they did not, they had a toilet in the house. They didn't have a shower in the house. And they just used their sauna as their shower or tub. That was a sitting <coughs> sauna, right? Not like a hot tub, but yeah. the sauna room? Yeah. Wow. So, so uh, let's look over here. Yeah, so Penny Pinch and Mama is 50% off for the ebook. Our quick and easy menus is 50% off. Our crock pot ebook, guys, it's summer. Get our crock pot ebook. That's great. We have a ton of really good ebooks. So they're all 50% off <clears throat> right now. Livingonadime.com. Go to the store. You can get them 50% off. Destiny wants to know if we still have Penny Pigeon Mama paperbacks. We yes, do. we do. So you can pick that up at livingonadime.com. At the top, click on store. Uh, so, ooh, mechanical massage. Ooh, can you imagine just sitting there? Oh, somebody was, somebody was asking about uh, something about fibromyalgia. Um, I don't... Uh, what's the secret to sleep when you have fibro? I'd like to know, Judy says. So for me, drugs. for years, no. <laughs> drugs, <laughs> for me, for years, I would sleep on the couch with my back. So the couch is like this and I would sleep with my couch, with my back, with my spine here so that there was no pressure on either hip. Um, now I have changed my diet. So that has helped me sleep some. I'm gluten free and dairy free now. Um, I have... Yeah, this is a gluten-free, dairy-free dinner, guys, that we cooked tonight, too. Um, I have massage. I get massage. Michael rub my hips for me and my legs so I can sleep because I'm a side sleeper and it hurts. I have slept with a heating pad all night long. Take something like NyQuil or Benadryl or something to knock you out. Something like that um, usually helps. So. so Bonnie says, got the soap making ebook. Yay! What <laughs> yeah, about Yeah, they're on discount books? too. Uh, I don't know what that question means. She's, well, she's just asking, um, we, there were a few people asking if we're going to do any more sales on the print books before we go. Oh, we don't know. We're actually having an issue with the print books, so we have to wait on our printer to get back with us, and we don't know if we're going to have a sale before we leave or not. If we do... It'll have to be next week. It'll have to be next week because we're leaving. Yeah. But at the moment, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it done. I don't know. We weren't really planning to have another sale on the print books before we go, but a lot of people are asking, so we might. But like yeah. Tara said, we were waiting on an answer from the printer about Sherry, email me about you losing everything. Yeah, guys, back up your print books, or I mean your e-books on a flash drive so you have them. Um, uh, how do you convince your husband that cable isn't necessary when you only have $800 left from paying rent a month? That $800 includes food, gas, home stuff. Well, I mean, just add it up for him and just tell him. I mean, for us, we realized we weren't really watching cable. And so it wasn't worth us paying it. I know some people watch more than that, but... But we used to divide by the, the total bill by the number of hours of shows we'd watch in a month and we'd say wow that means we're paying so many dollars ten dollars for, for a show this is a, a month that's not worth it so and uh, i think for guys it's helpful to write it out and and show it in a, a way that's more visual if you can uh or at least if you break out the numbers and show what you might do with that money that's better that would be helpful yeah um so we have other stuff over here. My ranch dressing is so good. Letting it chill for the salad tonight. Yay! Yeah, our ranch dressing. Dining on Nine Cookbook. The ebook, guys, is 50% off right now. Um, the ranch dressing is probably... It's in the top 10. We should do a top... Like a top 20 recipes from Dining on a Dime and just do a little ebook for people who want to sample it. That would be cool. Um, but 
ranch dressing is one of those. Shannon wants to know if we're all super excited for the trip. We're trying Not to get really. there. Not really. Honestly, it, I, I'm trying to get into it. We just have so much we have to get done before then. And like today I had to have the roofers come because we have hail damage that we have to get taken care of. So I, we have all this huge list of stuff we have to get done before we go. And so honestly, we're not even really, I mean, we're thinking about the trip, but we're having a hard time getting into it because <laughs> we just, we really can't think about it at the moment. Well, and we're trying to prepare so that while we're gone, a, a lot of the stuff that most people don't see that we do on the business happens automatically, automatically but it's a huge amount of work. So like videos <coughs> and stuff like that, we have to schedule, we have to get them edited and scheduled ahead of time. We have to get um, bookkeeping done. People don't realize we have to pay taxes several times a year. Well three different taxes come due while we're gone. So Mike has to get a whole bunch of bookkeeping done with that so that we don't end up in the clink for not paying taxes. Well, and I- But if we're in Europe, what difference does it make? <laughs> <coughs> I'm <the> only kidding. <laughs> some of the, uh, <coughs> some of them are quarterly taxes, which so we have to pay every three months, three different things in addition to our normal, well, four different things in addition to our normal taxes. And so one of them, we actually have to know what we've sold in order to calculate it. So the last little bit of the quarter when we're gone, I'll have to figure out a way to improvise. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie Lynn, currently experiencing the idea of eating less to cut costs, and I do not find myself super hungry at all. Yay, I'm slimming down too. You Yay. go, girl. All right. You go. Um, let's see. Somebody asked earlier about a 20, uh, was it a 20 clove garlic chicken or 40 clove garlic oh, chicken? Oh, that's a recipe I wanted to put in the new book and I forgot about it. Oh, I need to make, I'll yeah. make a note about that. Yeah, I love that recipe. Marie says, don't do the print book sale. Don't add it to your list. Well, the problem is here. So here's kind of what's happening with the print books. So we found some problems. We broke into the new shipment that we got and we found some problems with the books. So we may have to ship everything that we have left back to the printer, which would be a huge pain in the butt. But here's the thing. We may not have any books to print for sale for a while if the printer wants them back. And so we have to order books also, which Mike has to make some changes, adjustments into the book and stuff like that. If this whole printer thing doesn't work out, we got to look for a new printer before we move. We don't know. Hopefully this one's going to work with us. Um, We've been with them so a long time, so hopefully, but they, we're not. I would hope so. They're kind of hanging on that and so we're unclear whether yeah. they're. So um, we have to order books before we leave. So all of that. People, you know, it's funny because like the show, you guys see us for two hours a week and then you see what, two 20 minute or three 20 minute videos, two or three 20 minute videos the rest of the week. So it looks like we do, you know, two and a half hours worth of work, but all the behind the scenes stuff is like 99% of the work. So all that stuff has to get done before we leave. So... We're getting a little bit excited at times. We went out, so we went out with Donna and Dan. Um, Donna is a viewer from Cheyenne and... and uh, used to be my assistant. She was Tara's assistant for a while and we really liked Donna and Dan and we were talking to them about the trip and they went to Ireland last year so we were kind of bonding over some of the same places and suddenly I was, I was getting a little bit excited then. And there are just things that you know, light up that inspiration now and then. But at the moment, the thought of all the stuff that still needs to be cleared out of the way before we go yeah, is it's kind of a little overwhelming. <laughs> um, Bandana, I am so sorry I didn't get to promote your giveaway for the book. We had an issue, and I am so sorry I was not able to promote that. <clears throat> yes, to family, send me an email, do a giveaway, and we would be happy to have you do a giveaway. Hey, uh, Lynn says, life of a wife, tell him not everyone has cable. Honest, I haven't had cable for six years because I couldn't afford it and I've lived. I have to say, we haven't had 
we cut our cable in 2009, 2008 mm-hmm. or nine, something like that. And um, I, I was a little bit hesitant that maybe we were going to miss it somehow. And we've never, ever thought, oh, well, man, I wish we still had cable. And the mm-hmm. other thing is that in Kansas, the cable was less. But here in Colorado, people pay $150 a month oh, easy. Oh, ridiculous. Maybe more for their cable. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, it's ridiculous. we would never pay that. But the thing is, you know, even if you had to, even if you wanted to pay for Amazon Prime or something, because uh, we, we have Amazon Prime and we watch movies on there. Uh, and we get movies from the library yeah. and so that's a lot cheaper. But there's people who have Hulu, Netflix, Shopify, or not Shopify, <laughs> Spotify, all these paid things. I own cable on top. You don't need all that stuff. Okay. But if you don't have cable and you get one or two of the other ones that are like ten dollars each, yeah, that's much fine. better. Jennifer, I'm glad I got my books when I did. My daughter saved two hundred and fifty dollars by stopping the eating out they did, and I'm saving a ton. Oh, with it mine it's worth getting the two books yay jennifer that's so you know it's interesting so i did a private consultation on friday now i'll be honest i have not been wanting to do private consultations but this lady did so i told her how much i would charge for private consultations. she agreed and i'm like okay so i talked to her on um friday but what's interesting is she gave me her whole list of things And then I kind of quizzed her on where her spending is and that kind of thing. She absolutely had no idea that she was spending the thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars that she was spending on things. I was able to cut $12,000 and that wasn't even being frugal. That was just cutting out kind of the top layer of stuff. I didn't have her wash baggies. I didn't have her go to the thrift store. I didn't have her buying used cars. Nothing. That was just the top top little layer that she had on there. But here's what's interesting about that. I found her $12,000 just in that little section. And she emailed me and she said, I just want to throw up. She said, we have been paying on our house for 12 years and she said we haven't hardly dented our principal if i would have put all that money on our house it would be almost paid off it's crazy so those things really add up so one thing to help is add up how much is your cable costing you if it's costing you fifteen hundred dollars a year is that fifteen hundred dollars you can put on Paying down your principal for your house? Probably. So, um, well, yeah. It's funny because Jack's, Jack had a friend over from school, and uh, his friend's dad uh, has a nice car. But when I was looking at his car next to my car, I was thinking, you know, it's a little bit nicer, but it's, it's not, to me, it's not that meaningful. So I asked Jack, <clears throat> hey, isn't that a nice car? And he said, yeah. And I said, uh, if we could have that car, or we could have the car we have now and take this trip over to Europe, which would you choose? And he said, oh, he, he said Scotland. So I was thinking, Scotland. okay. But then I got to thinking for a lot of the cars that we see people having, we could go almost every year on a mm-hmm. trip like that. Uh, just by not having that and the thing I'm thinking is I'm not saying you should never the thing on the cars is I think people overthink the cars because years in the moment people think oh I've got to absolutely have this brand new something and I I think it seems like it's really exciting in that moment but a few years later it's totally it's the old thing that you don't care about yeah. anymore i mean you keep it here they say the average person keeps a new car five years so for me if it's comfortable it drives well everything works the air conditioner and the heat works in mm-hmm. the radio i don't care if it's yeah. any fancier than that and then if we can go to scotland and ireland and stuff because yeah. of that so marie's been watching our videos and she loves our tips and we've been saving her a whole bunch of time and money oh thanks so. marie yeah so i've been thinking about doing i was i was actually so encouraged by her because she actually was listening and was super excited to make these changes and get their finances under control I was thinking about doing personal I thought if I could do a consultation 
one consultation a day, just do five a week. I could do just five a week. I could handle that. I could. <laughs> one every day. I'm overwhelmed. Let me add something. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, but if I cut something else out, I could do the consultations. That would be pretty good. Hmm, okay. Well, I, so, I, I do think it's helpful to see how people react to the consultations because sometimes we don't understand what... Sometimes uh, there a lot of people have a completely different mindset than us before we kind of talk to them. And, and sometimes we don't really realize yeah. the way yeah. a lot of people, the way kind of typical Americans think. Yep. So. All right, guys, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. The ebook version is 50% off right now at livingonadime.com. All our ebooks are on sale at livingonadime.com. Dot com. Click on the store. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please give us a great big thumbs up, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> I want some of that chicken. Ooh, it's is there gone. Any what? It's not all gone. The boys ate it. <laughs>